Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pint Time with Backpacker Mike, and I'm going to be trying this Arizona Hard Tea. Cowboy Cocktail Kiwi Strawberry comes in at 5%. This is the last of the Arizona Hard Teas that I'm going to be trying. Uh, comes in a variety pack. You get four different flavors in there. They have all been really amazing, except for the Fruit Punch. I was a little eh with... But the rest of it have been really good. So let's get back into episode 230. Uh, fascinating facts about some uh, well-traveled areas, basically uh, popular destinations that tourists travel to. So the mythical national animal of Scotland. That's right, of Scotland. Scotland is uh, filled with folklore from Nessie the Loch Ness Monster to Celtic mythology, medieval castles, and beautiful landscapes, etc. I was in Scotland myself. I was in uh, Edinburgh, and I was in um, um, Stirling, Scotland, where I went to my distant cousin's uh, relative's uh, memorial, William Wallace. But anyway, uh, basically, uh, with all of that said, you shouldn't be surprised to know that Scotland's, Scotland's, I gotta say it, Scotland, national animal is the unicorn. That's right, it's the unicorn. The Celtic mythical mythologi mythology actually portrays the unicorn as a symbol of innocence and strength. Uh, the unicorn uh, symbol was first used in the Scottish royal coat of arms in the 12th century by William the First. By William the First. So there you go. Unicorn in Scotland. And you see the unicorn just about every place you go in Scotland, honestly. You might see it in a little thing. You might see a big thing. But anyway, all right, let's get into this Kiwi Hard Arizona Tea. Cheers, bro, slancha, and uh, skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. Yeah, very strawberry on the nose. Yeah, that's so good. That is so good. You get strawberry up front first, followed by a little bit of that tanginess from the uh, from the kiwi. It's not overly sweet. It's perfectly delicious. I mean, this is another really good hard tea. It just tastes like it tastes like the regular hard tea with a little bit of a kick. Don't really get much of the booziness on the back of the palate. You know, even at the finish, you get a little bit of that booziness, but not very much at all. Um, at 5%, you could smash a bunch of these and wonder what in the world just happened to me. Uh, yeah, let's do a hard pour real quick on this. I'm just going to cash it all out in here. All right, let's see what this is all about. Definitely got a little strawberry color in there for sure. Brings out a little bit more strawberry on the nose. And actually, it's a little bit sweeter on the hard pour. And you do get a little bit more of the mix of the strawberry and that kind of tanginess from the kiwi. Very good. I mean, this is really good. I highly recommend trying to get the variety pack of these Arizona hard teas. I think, honestly, this is one of the best hard teas that I've had, to be truthful. Uh, this, this is really good. Uh, I'm going to go another 10. So that's three tens on the hard teas, the watermelon, the kiwi strawberry, and the mucho mango all got tens. The fruit punch was the only one that got a, uh, got a seven and a half, and that's because I'm not really a fruit punch fan, and it was a little bit too sweet for me but those of you who like fruit punch and stuff may enjoy it very well so that's just my take on it but yeah absolutely absolutely all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me again on another pine time with backpacker mike i truly appreciate it and as always peace love and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together i'll see you guys next time on pine time with backpacker mike